What does it mean to be human when UFOs are starting to become more apparent? What does it mean to be human when we are able to connect with people all around the world and understand world religions, uh, you know, co- different world cultures, and you know, we're able to be best friends with people that we've never even met before. These are parts of humanity that are untapped and humanity is kind of like, well, what do we do with all of this? Yeah. So how does spirituality fit in this modern world? And that's, I'm really excited to dive into this today. Yes. And I love that you brought up UFOs because we do get that question. What does alien life mean to the spiritual context? Does that like break the mold for religion as a whole? Or does it amplify belief, right? And I don't know that there's an answer to that. But I think that it's worth talking about. Hey, Heart Leader community, we are so excited. The Silence Your Inner Critic Immersive Retreat is open for early registration. Click the link below to learn more and secure your spot today. And all I can do is share my own personal faith journey and where I came from and what led me to where I am now. Because what that tells me is None of this is finite. When we go on a journey of belief, if we're open to expanding our perspective, then we can, there's no limit to what God, love, the universe, whatever we desire to call what I now call the higher heart, right? There's no limit to what it can show us about ourselves. And that's exciting. And if alien life is part of that and is part of your belief and you believe that there's potential for that, then what can that show you about you? Why does it have to be that it's going to break your belief? Can it be something that's exciting and can expand your awareness about this amazing universe that the high heart or the universe or source has created. Mm -hmm. How amazing is that, right? Yeah. And I feel it's, it's quite interesting to me that if, if we say that there isn't something beyond here, isn't that our limitation on God, creator, source, high heart, however you want to call it, isn't that our limitation on that, not the other way around? And so we say that God and source is unlimited with the creative power. Then, then that feels not in alignment. So why, why would there be a limitation otherwise? Why would we be the only beings in the amount of stars that we can't even comprehend? It's, it'd be shocking just in one small little picture let alone, I think it's something like 5% of the sky is like there's hundreds of billions of, of galaxies. And what about the rest? What about the other 95%, right? So, yeah, I mean, this is, this is probably now more than ever the most unique time to start asking, you know, where do I fit? Where do I fit in all of this? You know, as the world is becoming bigger. Yes. It made sense thousands of years ago when there were smaller tribes, right? All, all of these religions and faiths were, were meant to kind of help smaller, smaller groupings of people. And just like when you have a small business and you get things started and maybe you only have five or 10 people or maybe even 20 or 50 people, yeah. you know, it's still considered a small business, even though it might feel like a lot in, 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 your, in the scheme of things for you. But what you do for that you know, 10 to 50 person business isn't what you do. You don't do that exact same thing when you start to get over 1,000 people or 2,000 or 10,000 or something like Amazon that has like over 100,000 people, right? Yeah. You can't, you, they don't fit. You have to evolve. You have to shift. You have to expand. Yeah. And so if you attempt to shoehorn those ideas into a growing atmosphere, uh, there's, things are going to fall apart and people are going to be like, this isn't working for me. I see what someone else is doing and that seems to be working. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening in this state where we have access to pretty much anyone anywhere in the world at any time. 
that's a unique space. And then when we start bringing in uh, other types of intelligences, whether it's digital intelligence like AI or possibly physical intelligence like uh, alien or from another dimension or galaxy or however it is, you know, it's like, wow, this is so much. There's so much going on around me. Where do I fit in the grand scheme of things? Mm -hmm.